What is up guys, this is Mateo's 2020 Politics here, and today I have a very interesting video to share with you guys. So, in case we don't know, uh, in Massachusetts there is an ongoing Senate primary between Democrats Joe Kennedy III and Ed Markey. Now, it's a very interesting race because their records are equally progressive. You know, they're both in favor of Medicare for All, they're both in favor of the Green New Deal, they both endorse Elizabeth Warren in the Democratic presidential primaries this year. But for the most part, Bernie supporters are kind of forming around Ed Markey. He's the incumbent senator. Joe Kennedy is trying to take him out. You know, he's a congressperson. He's trying to take out Ed Markey. So I used to actually like Joe Kennedy. You know, I thought he was a cool guy, a progressive. But he just got exposed as a complete fraud in this debate they had a few days ago. So if you like Joe Kennedy... Before this, you're going to dislike him after I show you this clip. So we'll take a look and then we'll discuss. So this is important. A mom and dad came to you to ask for justice for their murdered son. They came to you as their United States senator, as somebody in a position of power who they thought could help them rectify what had happened to their slain young boy. And when they came to you to ask for help, you did nothing. Look, the Henry family deserves justice. I can't fathom the pain which the Henry family must feel for the loss of a child. The pain is unimaginable. But what Congressman Kennedy is saying is just not true. I have two letters right here that Congressman Kennedy and I wrote in 2014 to Eric Holder, the Attorney General of the United States, to ask for an opening of a case to provide justice for the Henry family. In May of 2014, we wrote to Eric Holder. In December of 2014, with Elizabeth Warren, we also wrote to make sure that there would be an opening of this case. So when Congressman Kennedy says that I did nothing, he knows it's not true. Senator he Kinsman, knows no. it is a falsehood, yes. and he keeps repeating it because back then I stood with him to fight to make sure that this case was open. Go ahead. Let's get, let's get this very clear. It's not my words that said you did nothing. It's Mr. Henry's words who said that you did nothing. You signed a letter, Senator, that my office put together after months of trying to get you on that letter. Now, it's great that you signed it. But for those out there that are wondering what the difference is between myself and Senator Markey, this is literally it. When you say, when I say that there's more to this job than the bills that you file and the votes that you cast, this is it. You're a U.S. senator, and I'm a congressman, and there's something what you can do about it when a parent asks you for justice for their murdered son. Go ahead. And you had that it, choice, it, 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 and you didn't. Wait, look at you, it's you just said not that you deserve justice. It is at a time. They didn't it, get it from let, their let them respond. They didn't get it from you. It, it, it is just not true. What Congressman Kennedy is saying. I have a letter here with his signature next to mine. Not on one letter, two letters, right next to each other. Our names, asking Eric Holder of the Justice Department to open an investigation. So when he says I did nothing, he knows it's not true. He knows it's a falsehood. He keeps making a false accusation that I did nothing. And he keeps repeating it, knowing that that is completely and totally not true. And so the evidence is right here. The letters are right here. And we acted together as partners. And that was right, that we should do so. But to say I did not partner with him is just absolutely untrue. It's a misrepresentation. It is a falsehood. And he should just stop saying it. So we have every parent out there of a child. If you believe... If your son was murdered, your young boy was murdered by a police officer, and you came to a United States senator, and you asked for their help, and the response that you got was months later to sign a letter, I ask you if you think that that is sufficient. I don't. Oh, apparently, Senator Markey does. I'll give you the wow. That... That that did not look good for for Joe Kennedy at all. So the the best moment was when uh Joe Kennedy was so basically Joe Kennedy's point was that a there was a black family right their child was murdered by a police officer 
They spoke to Ed Markey, and he did nothing. Right? He kept making that point. That's what that's what uh, Representative Kennedy kept saying. And then Ed Markey's just like this. <laughs> he just pulls out the uh, the letter with their signatures on it, and he's like, yes, I did something. I wrote to the Attorney General and recommended that we change our policies because of this tragic incident. And then Joe Kennedy just kept going at it. I mean, he was literally using a dead child and mourning family as bait for his own political gain. It's a very grim place, Washington, D.C., because just when you think there's some politician out there who truly cares for the American people, you get another opportunistic dude like this. I mean, it just you could just tell by um the way he's t- speaking. It's in, it's in this very robotic, DC-like way. And clearly this was a smear attempt. He was trying to take out Ed Markey by using this dead African-American child as bait, frankly. He was trying to make Ed Markey look like a racist. He was trying to make it seem like he didn't care about black rights. When in reality, Ed Markey just showed the evidence and said, hey, here, I did something. I tried to reform her laws. I, tried, I spoke to the attorney general, right? And then Joe Kenny just kept going out and went like this to the camera. Please, <laughs> if, you, if you believe that that we need justice, this family deserves justice, <laughs> then you must disagree with this man, because Senator Markey does not care about black families. <laughs> I care. This is exactly the issue in D.C. He's like trying to get all emotional and speaking right to the camera. I don't know. You could you could just sense the opportunism on him. But wow. It it's a sad truth because it really does just go to show that Congressman Kennedy is just like any other politician, another Machiavellian, opportunistic, deceptive guy just trying to get more power and money. That's it. That's all he really cares about. I mean, policy-wise, they're the same, but um, in terms of like their genuine characteristics, Ed Markey's definitely much more, much more genuine person. Like Joe Kennedy, it he's just shown how disingenuous he is in this uh, one debate. So I have some polling numbers I'd like to show you guys, just to show how narrow this race actually is. So the most recent poll taken a couple weeks ago show that Joe Kennedy the third was at forty four point eight percent. Ed Markey forty four point eight percent. So they're in, ex- in an exact tie. It's very unusual for me to be rooting for the incumbent, but it is the one case where the incumbent Democrat is um is a much more genuine politician who really cares about the little guy rather than the uh younger guy. And it's funny because you know, this guy is younger, he's got the Kennedy last name, and in case you're wondering, he is a Kennedy, he's related to John F. Kennedy, and he's got more energy, it, it's the one uh, situation where that's the case, and yet the incumbent is the, is the better candidate, at least in my opinion. Sure, my channel just has about 240 subscribers, which, don't get me wrong, is significant, uh, but like in terms of uh, news channels, it's pretty small, right, in terms of news channels. But, like, because of how narrow this race is, you know, they're literally at an exact tie when you include decimal numbers in an exact tie. Uh, even, if, in, even if I just get 20 views, which is below what I usually get nowadays, even then, like, I just want to give the slightest bit influence, you know, to to make someone support Ed Markey. Like, I'm sure at least one of my viewers watching this video has to be from, from Massachusetts. I'm sure one of you guys is from the great state of Massachusetts, right? Now, please, vote your conscience. Vote for which politician you believe is more genuine. Clearly, that's Ed Markey. Please, 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 please vote to protect Ed Markey from being ousted from this dude. Because this guy's a snake. He he wore the mask of being a progressive, and here he's a complete opportunistic guy. He's an opportunist all the way. This is a very tight race. These debates are pretty entertaining to watch. I recommend you actually watch some of these. Um, I just got really upset at this moment, so I wanted to show you this guy. So... Without further ado, have a nice day, thank you for watching this video, and please vote to protect Ed Markey against this guy, because he's clearly just trying to smear him. See you guys later, and bye.